Okay, girl. So this is probably going to be one of the most like important videos I ever make in my life. And I know you guys have already read the title. We've got some good news and some sad slash good news. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it out there, girl. We got married today. Jordan and I are finally married. Yes. And this is so exciting. This has been a day that we have been waiting for for so long. And I am just so honored to mm -hmm. be your wife. I'm honored to be your husband. I'm so excited. <laughs> this is like, this is literally like the best thing that's ever happened to me. He was getting all choked up today when we were getting married. And I could tell he was holding it back with everything inside of him. Cause I didn't want to like, I didn't want to make no like funny faces or weird faces. Cause I'm staring <laughs> straight at her and I'm like, man, I'm, I'm starting to get emotional. I know, I I'm just seen looking it. at you and you look, you were just, you were so pretty. <laughs> You're so pretty. But I wanted to come on here and just, you know, briefly announce that we are married and we just got married today. And I also wanted to go ahead and just kind of talk about a couple things or like answer some questions that I know will be asked. So first things first, did we have a wedding? We did not have a wedding. We had like a little ceremony at the courthouse, but we did not have a wedding. We are going to have a wedding in the future, but it's just not the time right now. It's not the time to have a wedding right now and there are many different reasons why we did not decide to have a wedding first things first i know this is like so childish in a way but it's really not so first things first i am still getting comfortable like expressing my love and showing you that i love you it's honestly like still a little bit hard for me to be all like gushy and stuff in front of my family and honestly both of us are still getting comfortable and we knew like right now we would not enjoy a wedding as much as we would maybe in like a year or two from now mm -hmm. that's true so that's one reason is I'm not 100% comfortable and this reason is going to be kind of vague because I don't want to go into detail but there are certain people that I want at my wedding that wouldn't be invited right now. And I know that sounds like why like why wouldn't you invite them? Well because there are people that I love to death but they are working on themselves and God is working on them. And right now wouldn't be the time for me to invite them to a wedding. And I don't want to just like not invite people that I really do want to be at my wedding. But it's just not the time. So that's another reason. We also want to keep saving. We are still young. And oh my gosh. We are still young. And um, we want to keep saving money. We're a very like young married couple. And so we're still stacking our cash. Like right now, if we were to invest into a wedding, it wouldn't be for us. It would be for other people. And so it's not even that we ain't got the money. It's just that... Right now, it's just not the time. And we are just focused on not living in sin. We're not really focused on oppressing people. So we had a little ceremony. And then as far as the honeymoon, let's talk about the honeymoon because, okay, so we have gotten away, not far away though. We are away right now in a nice little, little sweet hotel. And um, we're gonna spend our days together, not too much time. This is gonna be vague and brief. I'll go into detail um, in my next couple of videos, but there is something that has came up that I am now responsible for and like I said I'll talk more about that in my next videos coming up but basically something has happened and I'm gonna have to go ahead and like kind of not 100% focus on our honeymoon right now and kind of focus on something else because something just came up yesterday and there's no way that I'm going to be able to just be like, oh, shh, girl, I'm on my honeymoon. Like, I literally don't have time. This is something that I cannot avoid. You guys will literally know coming up very soon. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm so happy we didn't plan a honeymoon because I need to be yeah. near my family right now. It all worked out. It all worked out. It's not a good idea for him to leave work for a long time right now. Man, I definitely have more reasons why we didn't like go away on a vacation. We just decided to go ahead and come to like a nice little hotel and just spend time with each other and just kind of bond one-on-one, -on -one, you know? I'm proud of us. Me too. I'm proud of us. I really because am. we're doing things, things have not been easy. Like these decisions have not been hard, have not been easy to make. Like even getting engaged to him, like I was scared. Like what are my brothers gonna think? My brothers, what is my, like what, is pe what are people gonna think? And got over that, I'm straight on that. And then I was like, getting married like not having a wedding and stuff like that like i was nervous about it and then seeing like other people today they're getting married and stuff like that and then i don't know where this guy just walked up to us and gave us a hundred dollars he was a minister and he mm -hmm. was like this this is y'all get blah blah and it i mean i'm so proud of us yeah. and we still got money in our savings we are yeah. on track we still mm -hmm. good you feel what i'm saying like some people blow their money on a wedding or their parents you know of course if i had a rich dad he would have done it um <laughs> some people blow their money on a wedding and can barely even afford the car payment and rent blow their money on a wedding or take out a loan and go into debt or save up for a wedding when they can be saving up for a house 
or a car. You see what I'm saying? So I've just done things the right way. We've done things exactly. the right way, and I'm part of us. Yeah. So we're married. Exactly. <laughs> okay. You, you really do what you can right now. Yeah. Uh, and try to live right so that you can later down the line do what you really want to exactly. and be good. You got to make the right decisions even when they're yeah. hard. So yeah, I'm, I'm really proud of us, Me and too. we are making. <laughs> We are making hard decisions that are going to benefit our future family yep. and are benefiting us. It's just, there's yep. so many great things and God is so good, you guys. Um, right. He's just been showering down blessings on us and life is really turning around and we are just so grateful. Like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh, I feel so good. So, also, I know you guys see the title about Essence. We can go ahead and um, talk about Essence. So, I already knew there was going to be tons of questions like, where is Essence? Because in my videos, Essence has not been shown. It has only been Locket. You can literally only see Locket's cage, and it's just been Locket. And I wanted to go ahead and talk about that. So I hadn't talked about I hadn't talked about it yet because I was so broken, and I still am grieving a little bit, so shattered, and I felt so disappointed that I had to give my puppy up for adoption. Oh my gosh, I'm getting ready to start crying. Because like, if this hurt anybody the most, it hurt me. I'm sorry. I made the best decision for her and for me. I also have a page on Essence. And I, th this is the thing. Because I don't want to make this like an Essence fashion fest. Because Essence was Essence. And the day that I got Essence, I did it because I wanted Lockett to have a friend. I thought that Lockett was lonely. So we went and got a dog. And I remember going up to check out when I went to go buy her. And this feeling I've never had before said, don't do it. And it was God. And he was saying, don't do it. But I wanted to. And I pushed it. And I felt this strong feeling, don't do it. And I'm like, oh, she's so sweet, blah, blah, blah. As soon as I put her in the car, she's tweaking. Lockie did not act like that when I put her in the car. When I, same exact puppy shop. She would not stay in the box. And the box had a lot of paper in it so that if she peed or pooped, it would catch it. So I didn't want her on my, on my lap because I knew that she might pee or poop. So I put like this this big drawing that my nephew had made and i put it in between me and essence so that she would stop jumping on my lap she was jumping out of the box this baby was two months old and she put her paw in between it and kept moving it over and moving it over and i was like oh my gosh i was like this is either bad or this is really good because she's really smart months go by months go by months go by she's still not potty trained she's still pottying in my house 24 7 still and it never stopped every toy i bought her she would ruin i would buy locket toys she would ruin them get locket to bed she would tear it up and ruin it she would bite locket that's why locket had a hot spot recently because she was bit she would mess with locket 24 7 locket would be sleeping she would go prance on her and bite her and just attack her if i put a cute dress on both of them she would bite uh locket's dress and try to rip at it she tore up my floorboards my brand new house, y'all, tore two big chunks out of like two different floorboards. You know where my dining room is? I've been trying to hide it on camera. She took two big chunks out of my floorboards. And I still was like, I'm gonna hold on. My brand new house, she's tearing it up, she's potty and she's pooping everywhere. She needed 24 seven constant attention. She didn't understand that she was in trouble when I would tell her you're in trouble. I take her outside, bring her back in, Take Lockett outside and you would hear her screaming so loud that Lockett was going outside. And when I tell you guys like she peed and pooped 24 seven, it was 24 seven, I was so stressed out. I'd wake up every single morning with anxiety. Like, oh my gosh, has my anxiety like decreased so much ever since Essence has left? And this is the thing. I don't wanna make this the Essence bashing, bashing fest because I love that dog t to this day so much. And I wish that it didn't go the way that it did. Mm. And I wish that I could have done more, but I had anxiety every morning. I didn't wanna get out of bed. Didn't want to get out of bed because I knew what I was going to have to deal with. I mean, there's been so many times where I literally would take her outside, have her out there for a while. She would not poop or pee. She knew she was supposed to, but she wouldn't. So then I come back in, I'd set her down, take Lockett outside, come back in, step and poop right when I get in the door. She'd poop right at the door. I just took you outside. We couldn't go anywhere for long. We knew we had to be home after an hour, hour and a half. We knew we could not be gone for long. Couldn't leave Essence at all. She really needs somebody with her. 24 7 and she just she didn't want Lockett to enjoy life she'd steal her food steal her treats like I said the list goes on with how she treated Lockett and Lockett was miserable I slowly the day that I brought Essence home Lockett hated her and it never stopped Lockett never liked her Lockett was miserable my dog was depressed like Lockett was so depressed like it was sad and my family knew it 
And I would get so offended when my mom and my brother would be like, she looks so sad. Like, she's just so sad. And I would be like, well, she's going to have to get over it because it's not all about her. It's also about Essence. When in reality, it was all about Essence. And then, girl, on top of that, I would not lie to you. Literally, the day that Essence was adopted, the day that Essence left the house, was the day that Lockett started to progress. Was the day that Lockett became happier and happier and happier. When I tell you guys, every single day, I am learning new things about Lockett. Like, her personality is coming out, like, so much you guys she is so happy she's always so excited and just so happy and it is so amazing to see her finally be able to be at peace i can't even explain to you guys how different our household was with essence in the house but it was just hard for me to make the decision that i knew i was supposed to make now in saying that you know locket is happy and everything but it still did take a while for us to retrain locket after essence left because what happened was 24 7 essence was pottying and being bad and i just don't have it in me to 24 7 be punishing a dog i'm not just gonna keep punishing this dog over and over and over again so since i wasn't punishing her all the time locket took it as okay so it's okay for me to do that and so she started to do the same exact things that essence was doing and then not to mention essence was just like she didn't care about anything like she would pee and poop and step all in it step all in it lay in it lay in it like it, it didn't make sense locket has never been like that ever since she was a puppy my home smelled terrible it was just a whole thing you guys that was a very it put me in a really bad mental space it caused some issues in our relationship because it was constant i didn't want company over ever I did not want company over. It was so embarrassing to have company over because I knew what was gonna happen in front of them. It was so embarrassing, so I have no company. Lockett started to poop and pee all in my house as well with Essence, so let me tell you what happened. So Essence, y'all remember, I stopped putting her in the cage at nighttime because I was like, she's doing good. It got 10 times worse. I left her out for like, maybe like four nights out by herself. And then I came downstairs one day and it was like an outhouse. She went, Lockett went everywhere, everywhere. So Lockett started to do what she did. I was still willing to leave Essence out because it was easier to clean it up off the floor than out of her paws and out of her entire body because she would lay in it. So since Lockett was acting like that, I started to put her in the cage at nighttime and leave Essence out. So Essence would potty on the floor. I would clean it up. It was easier that way than to have to get up every single morning and give her a bath, clean out the cage. Just, oh, but that's when she began to tear my house up at nighttime. She began to dig into my floorboards. We wake up, there would just be like random things damaged, digging at the carpet, like, so I had to make that decision that I had to give her up for adoption because nothing is working. Lockett started to behave in ways I've never seen Lockett behave. Pooped in my room, I'm like, this is not my baby. This is, this is not Lockett. She's depressed, she's not eating her food. When I tell you guys, like, Lockett was so unhappy and Essence just never listened. It just never really got in. So, she's in an amazing home. She is with a retired older woman that lives on a private lake. She is on a medication every single day, even though, you know, they say she's still extremely hyper. It helps her to calm down a little bit, not too much. She wears diapers. She, um, they have like a whole routine for her. Like she has to be on a routine with somebody being home with her 24 seven because she cannot be left alone. If they leave, she, they, she goes with them. Like she's with somebody 24 seven. If not, she's left with someone. She cannot be by herself and we know that. So. I basically just told them like she's got really really bad anxiety and she cannot be left alone and yeah they still want her they were so happy about it like and I knew it was because you know when you're retired and stuff like that and you don't really have anybody like exactly. you will take care of this dog exactly. and Essence is happy mm -hmm. a lot of older people that are retired they get so bored of life and they need a companion but they really don't know where to get it and so whenever Essence was brought up that was literally the perfect thing that she needed and I think they're doing absolutely amazing. I know, but it's like, I remember when I when I did, I was like so worried about what she thought. Like, I didn't want her to feel abandoned. And then I, I was so mad at myself, like you couldn't do it. You couldn't give her what she needed. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sleep for nights on nights on nights. I'd wake up crying, 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 crying. He knows, like I'd cry 24 seven, like. And I just had to accept that I couldn't do what somebody else could do for her. I did what was right. And I also got another confirmation. Like I said, you guys, I've got some big news coming up um, that I'm taking on a responsibility. And there would have been no way I could have took care of Essence and this new responsibility coming. And no, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> oh, <wait, no. laughs> no, I'm not pregnant. Uh -uh. Essence is happy in a new home and we are married. And we made it. We did. We, we made did. it.
But I look cute, guys. I'll just show you guys in the mirror, and then I have to leave. Girl, I had on my cute little Uggs, too. But look how cute. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. I went to the mall yesterday, and I got this entire outfit for $19. The entire store was $8.99. This was the only cute outfit. So y'all know I had to go ahead and grab it. It is so cute, you guys. Girl, it's too cute. And my mom flat ironed my hair this morning. Thank you, mom. And she gave me this Dooney and Berg bag a couple years ago. It's so freaking cute. I love my mom, y'all. She's so freaking awesome. But yeah, girl, looking cute, looking cute. But I love you guys, and I thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Yes, your girl is married. A lot of y'all have watched me since I was like 14 years old, all the way now to me being married. <laughs> all kind of stuff, y'all. And because of Jesus, as well as y'all, my dreams have came true. And I appreciate you guys so much, and I love you guys. And yeah, your girl about to go ahead and hop up in the shower. Bye, girl.